All right, welcome back, traders. I just want to talk a little bit about shorting. There's been a lot of shorting that's going on, and uh, one of the big things I really want to focus on is on short squeezes. So today's lesson, I mean, if you've been following me and been watching a bunch of videos, please click on the bottom and like us, and uh, you'll be always getting alerts once a week of a tip of the day. And today's tip I want to cover on talking about one of the biggest concerns people have, which is short squeeze. And how do you get, know you're going to get caught into a short squeeze? How do you know how to profit from a short squeeze? Well, that's really what I want to cover. And basically what I have right here, I want to talk about level four. I want to talk about having a very good direct access broker, but also want to show you some of the stocks that did have a good short squeeze and how to make a lot of money with them, but also not get suckered into them. Now, if you watch my video from uh, just I did uh, last week, uh, one of the big winners that we had was uh, NKLA. Big, big winner. Great company from what I heard. The next thing since sliced bread with the Tesla and stuff. But to us as day traders, we really don't care about that stuff. All we care about is making money. And when you look at this stock, you could see uh, it started right around $30. It was a, there was a merger that was involved and stock was just went public. And you can see how the stock literally in two days, let me just bring this up a little bit bigger so you guys can follow along. So you can see in two days how the stock literally ran from like $30 all the way to $95. Now, um, you know, rumor has it that people said it's a $15 stock. Some people said it's going to be another $1,000 stock. So the, the thing is, you want to know you don't get caught into these short squeezes. And this one, obviously, there was a, there is a, a big short going on right here, but it's a very fast moving stock. So... You know, you're trying to wonder, like, which one do I trade, which one I don't trade. There are a couple other stocks that actually were better to trade than this one. Uh, I want to talk about this. Well, actually, this one right here was actually really good. So we got this O1, okay? So O1, let me bring this chart right here. And you could see this stock, actually, let me bring up over here in a long-term chart. So in two days, this stock ran from $2 all the way to $19. You got that? $2 to $19 in two days. Now, is it a short squeeze? How do I know it's a short squeeze? From experience, for doing for 25 years, I always look at and I say, listen, it's there's no reason why this stock went from $2 to $20. That's like Amazon going from $2,000 to $20,000 in two days. So this is what you get caught up in a short squeeze. Now, we do make a lot of money in a short squeeze, but the thing is you want to make sure you don't get caught up too much on it. And you could see here on the intraday chart, and let me just change this chart right here. You could see how the stock ran from $5 and kept going higher and higher and higher. And then it got halted. Okay, now just to let you know, you're probably noticing that a lot. The stocks get halted. If the stock goes, there's like this whole formula. If it goes up so fast in a short period of time, they halt it for about five minutes. And then they reload and they halt in five minutes. They do a little bit of a shake in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, the stock will pop up. Now, what I want to bring over here is something called level four, which is my book map. All right, so right here, you could see we're looking at the stock U1. And the big thing we all teach when it comes to trading is you just have to follow the money, okay? You'll notice on my charts, I don't use any indicators. I don't use any Bolger bands and MACDs. First of all, it does not work for day trading, okay? How do I know that? Because that's how it was trained. And, you know, and that's basically, if you look at Wall Street, this is what they do. Uh, now you'll notice the stock is coming up to a big resistance levels right around here, around 15. Does everybody see that right there? There's a big seller right there, that big red bar, 20,000 shares at 15. It's kind of hitting it right there and it's dealing with all these people right there on at that resistance level. So you could see it's kind of testing it. Um, what do we call a big order like that? That's what we call an iceberg order. It's a big resistance levels. So to me, that's a big, big, big short. Now, it looks like the guy got just taken out. You could see it right there. He just got taken out at 15. It just went through it. And if I zoom out, I want to show you the course of the day, what happened to this stock. So you could see time and time during the course of the day, you got these big red, uh, what we call uh, uh, the heat map. And in this heat map, that is showing where the predominant su supply and demand is, where these big orders are. What's nice about level four that you do not get with level three is this is more on the right is the level three, but the level four is showing you a little bit more how long were they there for, how long were they consolidated there for, and how many more shares they have. And not only that, but then there's also something that tells us, you know, um, did the share get executed, did not get executed. But this stock has been a really, really, really nice short squeeze. And you could see that just how the shorts get squeezed. 
Well, eventually they get squeezed means they keep running it up and you can see how the stock ran from $6 all the way to 20. So it looks like they're still in play today when it comes to the short squeeze. And there are a couple other ones also I want to talk about. Um, CLIR, another big short squeeze stock. So let me bring over here so you can see a little better on this chart. And this uh, the CLIR, that also went from a buck fifty to about three twenty five. Now it backed right off to two twenty five. Why did it do that? Well, because listen, stocks don't go from a buck fifty to three dollars uh, just just as a fluke. So what happens if I change over here and I change my volume and add a volume bar? You will automatically start seeing boom. Look at all those orders that came in. Stock trade a lot of volume. And not only is it a lot, you're talking millions and millions of shares. Stock trade over 121 million shares. So as a professional trader, what we look for is we look for the orders that are out there. We'll look at our big percentage gainers like you could see CLIR right here in the bottom left-hand corner. It says the top 20 list. That was the biggest percentage gainer of today. And it still is. And it was even a lot harder than that. And here you're looking at the other one. You won. Still, biggest percentage gainer, gainer of the day, up 125%. It was up actually up more than that. And one last one, I want to bring up another big short squeeze with, that was this morning, and it backed off a lot. Look at this stock right here, R-O-S-E-U. Stock right in pre-market where we make most of our money, started right around a dollar, then spiked up around $2, and it ran all the way up until the open to almost $8 a share, just above $7. That is what we call an ultimate short squeeze. How do we know we got squeezed? Because it came right back down to $2, okay? But just to give you a little tip of the day, most day traders, we don't try to buy the stock at a dollar and sell it at eight. We try to buy it at three and sell it at four, buy it at six and sell it at 650. We work on points, 50 cent move, dollar move. That's about it. But, uh, but you gotta just do one very important thing. You have to follow the money because the money trail is where it's gonna give you the game plan where to get in and where to get out. If you knew where the big orders were, like you're seeing right here, and you see that big order right here around $7, and you see he's still out there at, at, at for $16,000, and you see the seller for five, at $5 for $12,000. These, ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders, is how you got to have a game plan. If you're not following the money, then you're plain old just gambling, all right? And we all know how gambling works out, okay? Didn't really work out too well, you know, for the guy that goes there over the weekend and says, I'm going to make big. And then you sure enough, you know what? You blow up your account. Day traders, we don't hit home runs. We just hit base hits. So anyway, if you like a little bit more and, and see more of my short squeezes and you want to come and join me, I am live every morning on YouTube and Facebook live at nine o'clock before the market opens up in pre-markets. Just click on like us on the bottom and I'll get you and I'll show you a lot more of these short squeezes because this is really where we make most of our money. And if you'd like to come and join us and see us live all day in our trading room, like I said, feel free to join us for one of our trials and you'll get to get even more experience what it's like to trade with hundreds of traders in my trading room that we do this all day. Thanks for watching and look forward for more videos that we'll be posting in the short, in the future, in the next, uh, within the next week. Thanks everyone.